Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a guide video for Potato Hero Zombie Survival Part 2. At the beginning of the video, I have a gift code to share with you. To redeem the code, simply click on your avatar and then click on Redeem Code. The gift code for today is POTATO24. The code may expire, so make sure to use it as soon as you see this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new codes. I'll be updating them regularly. In this second episode of the series, I'll be talking about how to use gems wisely for maximum efficiency, helping you become stronger quickly. I'll divide the content of this video into two parts. In part one, I'll cover all the different ways you can spend your gems. And in part two, I'll analyze which methods are the most effective and how to spend them in the most cost-efficient way. All right, now let's dive into what you can spend your gems on. Technically, they're called diamonds, but I have a habit of calling them gems, so I hope you don't mind. One, stamina. You can purchase stamina three times a day, and each time it will cost you 100 gems. That means you'll be spending 300 gems per day on stamina. Two, guild check-in. You can use gems to check in daily and receive some essential materials to increase your battle power. Each day, this will cost you 50 gems. Three, guild haggle. You can use gems to haggle for product prices in the guild. If, after haggling, you still find the price too high, it's better to wait for a guildmate to haggle further before making a purchase. 4. Supply Raid The best strategy is to only spend gems on securing the gold chest, as stronger opponents are more likely to steal it from you. For the silver and brown chests, you don't need to use gems since no one really tries to steal them. You can just wait until the timer ends and claim them. 5. Banknote. You can use gems to purchase banknotes. Banknotes are very important as they help you level up your equipment, heroes, and can also be used to evolve your genes, significantly boosting your battle power. Six, equipment draw. You can use gems to draw for equipment. From what I've observed, after playing for 14 days, you'll unlock the option to draw for SS grade equipment. If you don't find it necessary to spend gems immediately, it's better to save up and, and wait for the SS grade equipment draw. Seven, hero, pet, and fruit draws. You can use gems to draw for heroes, pets, and fruits, but there's a weekly limit. You'll spend 2,000 gems per week on hero draw tickets, 1,000 gems per week on pet draw tickets, and 500 gems per week on fruit draw tickets. In total, this amounts to about 3,500 gems per week, which breaks down to approximately 500 gems per day if you use all the tickets. In my opinion, this isn't too expensive. At the current level, I believe we've covered all the ways to spend gems. If they add any new features in the future, I'll make sure to update this list with a new video. Now onto the most important part that you've all been waiting for. As a free-to-play player, I always look for the most efficient ways to spend any type of currency in the game, so I'm confident this video will be helpful for you. 1. Use gems to draw 10 times daily for SS grade equipment. You'll need 8 days to receive one SS grade item. Rest assured, you'll earn more than 2,800 gems daily, and by participating in the game's arenas every two days, you'll also receive nearly 10 keys. This way, you can save gems for other uses. Two, if you want to save gems, Prioritize buying hero draw tickets, as they are much harder to come by compared to pet and fruit draw tickets. In battles, heroes provide more benefits than pets or fruits. If you have the means, you can also buy additional fruit draw tickets for extra advantages.
3. Purchase the guild check-in as it's quite affordable and helps increase your battle power, making you stronger in the game. As for banknotes, I don't recommend buying them early. The quantity required increases with each chapter you progress through, so purchasing them too soon could lead to a significant loss. I'd like to remind you not to rush your evolution levels. Wait for the seven day mission to level up so you won't miss out on anything. For equipment and heroes, feel free to level them up as you wish, but try to level them evenly. This way, when you encounter missions that require leveling, you won't face difficulties. If you're struggling with certain chapters, the first thing to consider is leveling up your heroes and equipment. Save your evolution upgrades for the missions to avoid wasting resources. Thank you all for watching the video. See you in the next videos. And don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel for new gift codes and more guides.